Hello, my name is Rupasi Ribeira. I'm from Sri Lanka. I'm in the suburbs at the moment, and I've come here especially to see some interesting vehicles. And I want to introduce you to Andrei Lobov. Hello, friends. My name is Andrei Lobov. I represent the company SAS Holding, and I would like to introduce Mr. Rupasiri to the kit that we have developed for Bajai Maxima. Andre, first of all, please tell us what you do. We'd like to know about you a little. Dear friends, we are engaged in developing electric kits for various vehicles designed for installing on existing transport. For example, Bajai Maxima, it can also be a motorcycle, ATV, and actually anything else. The main point of our kits is combined winding motors. This project uses a combined winding motor DA90S based on the technology developed by Dmitry Alexandrovich Dunov. This is a very interesting project that has been implemented for a very long time. Mr. Rupasiri, just like me, is an investor in the project, right? Yes, we are the investors. This is a project of the future, an eco-transport project. So we are very interested in it, and we are directly involved. Andre, how did you come up with the idea of creating such kits for Tok Toks? The idea was born because of the very existence of such motors. Because everything we previously used couldn't handle such heavy vehicles. That is, the 3 kilowatt motors that were produced before by the Chinese industry or the European ones cannot handle such heavy vehicles, especially with this amount of load. Have you been riding it just now? Yes, we took a ride and it was loaded with 500 kilograms in the body and we did not even feel that load. And that is thanks to these motors. Well, friends, let's give the floor to our technical specialist, Matvey Plotnikov. Matvey, first of all, I have a question. This transport in my country is used as passenger transport. So, can this Tok Tok be used for 8 hours with short breaks to transport people? We can say that it depends on the route. If the route on this 8-hour working day is up to 20 kilometers at a time, there are solar panels, and given that the parking time after this run lasts for about half an hour, then the vehicle will be able to go. All these conditions exactly agree with our reality. Because there are short distance trips, this transport is also used as a taxi. Waiting for a passenger takes 15-20 minutes, so it suits us, especially with solar panels. We have no problems with solar power in Sri Lanka. The sun is up from early morning till evening. It's a perfect means of transport for us. It also depends on how fast the driver goes. I mean, when driving fast, the battery quickly runs out. Also, it matters how many passengers there are. Let's say our vehicle is loaded up to 500 kilograms. This is equal to 6 passengers. As far as I know, Tok Toks generally take 3 people on board. That is, there is a weight reserve. And then everything depends on the driver, how economically they will adhere to the travel mode. 
Matvey, please tell us about the repairs and maintenance of this transport. In terms of maintenance, everything is cut to a minimum, because we removed the diesel engine and put the induction electric motor instead, which has only two bearings. The advantage of this motor is the following. For example, if there was a magnetic motor, then the magnets would come off when heated. It's like it abrades well and then suddenly stops. And with this motor, even if heated, the magnets will not come off. The grease in the bearings can leak, but you need to heat it very much and there is a software that controls the motor, controls its temperature, and if the motor starts to heat a lot, the software will reduce the power and this temperature will remain within a certain range. Matvey, I would like to clarify how difficult it is to install the kit and how much time it takes. It is easy to install. Though I have experience, I tighten the nuts regularly. There is nothing complicated about it for me. The whole kit can be fitted without any welding, without any drilling, that is, no holes need to be drilled, and the whole kit is installed in the regular places. One shift in less than daylight time, that's for sure. And the vehicle is already re-equipped. I mean, after 8 hours, a regular workday, it will no longer be diesel but electric. You remove the old motor, put it on, and bring a new one. Plus, soon there will be a full-fledged manual. Everything will be removed and installed again for it. Excuse me for interrupting. We use a solar panel here. It is very cost-effective. Is it possible to convert this type of transport from passenger to cargo. People do a little business on this. Is something like that possible? If we specifically take the Bajai Maxima vehicle, there is a ready-made kit that includes a motor with fasteners. It can be adapted to the cargo, cargo passenger type, and passenger type. That is, the motor part will be the same. Let me remind you, we've converted the diesel unit. We do not have gasoline ones in Russia, but as far as I know, the gearbox is the same there. But there is a different bell for the diesel engine. As for the solar panels, I am very pleased with them, because it's still spring here, and our region is not rich in sunshine. And this vehicle does not charge batteries only at night or if we have it under the roof. It's not so effective in cloudy weather, but it still charges. And let me remind you, our battery has a small capacity – 50 amp hours. And the solar panel copes in excess. And if we want not just have one solar panel but several, can we install them and thereby increase the power? Sure. Direct sunlight is not necessary. The panel can be on the side. The main thing is to protect it from mechanical effect, not to crush it when maneuvering. But there are a lot of vehicles of this kind similar to mobile kitchen. When the vehicle arrives to the destination point, the battery is exposed and more sun reaches it and more energy is converted by the battery. Technically, there are a lot of options. There are two battery sections and they are autonomous from each other. Even if something falls on one of them, the second section will work independently and charge the battery. And there can be one more section installed on each side. And we will have twice as much energy. And we can use this energy to both drive and connect additional consumers that we need. 
But the most important thing is that today you were able not just to touch this vehicle, but to see how everything works and also drove it with a load and at high speed, assessed the vehicle in all ranges, made sure that it really works. I personally emphasize this a lot because I myself got involved with electrical equipment only after I tried everything myself. Because hearing and seeing is one thing, and experiencing the benefits of the technology is another thing. There are no emissions, it is easily to manage. I have been operating it for a month in this concept, and I've used the power outlet twice. I mean, that's enough for me, and it is profitable. There are plenty of prospects. And I am glad that I've touched this vehicle. I am happy for you. Thank you for visiting. My pleasure. Thank you.